Hi, welcome back to Innovation. Today, what we're going to do is add in some more game elements, like some scoring points. And we're also going to add in some indicators to let the player know that they are at the right level to catch the ball. And we might even add in an extra ball. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is click on our cat to make sure that is all set up for us. Let me zoom in here a little bit. So I wanna make sure our cat starts at the correct size. And I wanna make sure our cat broadcasts or sets the variable for the size when it first starts. So we know all of that information at the beginning. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the size to 100 rather than that big number of 260. And then I'm going to go to my variables and I'm going to set the cat size to its current size. So I get the current size from the looks menu and drag it in. So now I have that all set up. Everything else is set up. Looks good. I don't need to do anything with the ground. I'm going to now go to our cat and we're not our cat, our ball. And we're going to add in some code for our ball. So we're going to add in a score to add in a score. We need to create a variable. So I'm going to click on variables and I'm going to click on make a variable and I want it for everybody. So we're going to leave that as all sprites and we're going to type score. So now I have a variable called score. You can see on the upper right hand side here, let me make this bigger, that we have our cat size and our score for us. We might get rid of the cat size eventually, so we don't need to see the cat size, but for right now we'll leave it. Next thing I'm going to do is change the score. So if the cat catches the ball, we should increase the score. So I'm going to take this where it says change, it says cat size right now, but we're going to change that to score. And we're going to give them, let's say five points for catching the ball. But if they miss the ball, that's our boing sound. We're going to change that by minus one. And we're going to make sure that says score. So now when we play our game, Every time they score and they catch a ball, they get five points. And every time they miss it, they get minus one. Let's see how that works. Now I have to get my cat lined up with the ball. So we know that it has to be around 120, but there's no information there to tell the player that. So I can now catch balls because I'm in the right spot. So we need some information to indicate to the player that they need to be in the right spot. And what we're gonna do that is by color, rather than giving them a number, we're gonna do color. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at this conditional right here. And you see where it says cat size greater than 110 and cat size less than 121. I'm gonna right click and click duplicate. And then I should be able to drag down this block. I'm gonna drag this further down Get rid of this out of the way. Don't need that. That, that's extra. All I need is this. Okay, so I should have this block. If you need to rebuild it, you can. But the advantage is this has all the right numbers, then it's all set up for us. Now, I'm going to put in a conditional. I'm going to go to Control. And I want an if, then, else conditional. That. And I would put this right inside that hexagon like that. Then I want to connect it right here, right after this else statement, put it right there. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is look at the looks. I'm going to click on looks and I'm going to switch the costume of the ball to costume A if we're in the right range. Otherwise, I'm gonna switch the costume to costume C, which means we're not in the right range. 
So let me switch the ball's costume to costume C to start. So we click on costumes and this is kind of pinky purpley ball. And now when I play the game, I can see that I'm not in the right spot because the balls are there in front of me. Oh, and now I'm in the right spot because the ball turned the right color. And if I move forwards, it's the wrong color. They're behind me, so I gotta go move backwards. If I move too far back and they're in front of me, like that, I can see they're the wrong color. So I'm gonna move forward again until I get to the right color, and there we are. So now I can catch the ball and score points. So that's fun. So now we have a working game where we can catch balls, and I think I can get rid of the cat size now. So I'm gonna click on variables. And I'm going to uncheck this box so I can't see the cat size anymore. And I can move the score around. I can put it over here so it's out of the way. And that looks pretty good. So next step. If we want to make the game a little bit more difficult and we want to add some more balls, we can do that pretty easily. What I'm going to do is right click on this ball here. Let me make sure you can see it. Right click on the ball and click on duplicate. Now there's a second ball. It's called ball two. We could leave it called ball two, but I do want to change the color. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into costumes. Get my window to move. And I'm going to change the color. Let's say blue. I'm gonna go back to the code. Now, I also wanna make it look like it's further back. So I'm gonna change its size here to 50%. You can make it a different number if you want, but I'm gonna make it 50% because I think that's pretty good. So now I have my ball too, it's 50%, and it has all the same code. Now, I wanna change the numbers here so that way, it looks like it's at a different level. So I'm going to change it to 50. And then I'm going to come down here and change this to 50. And then 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 plus 50 is 61. So that gives me a nice range. Then I'm going to change the costume color. So instead of Going to ball C, we want to go to our costume, which is the blue one. And I think, oh, I'm going to have to look, I forget, which is ball B. So I'm going to change this so it's ball B. So it turns the color B and it stays color A, which is the same one in the last ball, that if we're in the right range. Now I also have to change these numbers here. So that way I make sure it changes color in the right way. So I'm gonna change this to 50. And I believe this was 61. So now I have my ball too. Now, if you want, you can also change the score. So maybe the blue balls are worth a different number of points. Maybe they're worth 10 points. And I'm gonna make you lose two points if you miss it. And then maybe we also, we wanna make sure we set the size here of the ball to 50% in our green flag clicked. And then finally, maybe we wanna make the ball appear at a different speed. So maybe every two seconds instead of every one second. So that way there'll be different balls on the different screens at different times. So let's zoom out, see our code there, set this zoomed out, and let's give our game a try. So I hit the green flag, and it looks like we're in the wrong spot. Oh, so I can catch those balls now. And if I wanna catch the blue one, I have to go further back. And so I can get the blue one to turn the right color. Oh, that was it. Now I can catch the blue ones and not the pink ones. So that's the whole game. Make sure you share your project. 
So that is all I have for you today. Bye for now.